In this video, we explore GitRest Server and shared projects. On the one hand, with GitRest Server, I mean what is explained in here in the help when you search for server, connect to the server, and this is in correlation with shared project. That is, GitRest allows to share projects via a server. I will, however, not set up my own server in this video. I will use the GitRest server provided by these guys here, gitrest-server.org. They have a site where they explain the service basically they're running a GitRest server with which you can explore shared projects and also collaborate with others. To get an account, you simply hit them up either via Twitter or via email, and then they will reply to you with a message like this, with the user data being here, and then some usage information about the already existing repository and how you should name new repositories. Then another thing I want to hint at are the terms and conditions. And as you might know already, reverse engineering is sort of a gray area. That means, for example, in my jurisdiction, Germany, it is generally illegal to reverse engineer software with the exception for making interoperability. That means if you reverse engineer, for example, Windows Word, so you can load Word files in your own word processor, then you're allowed to do this. However, you are not allowed to share copyrighted binaries. So what I would like to ask all of you is do not upload illegal binaries on the server. So you're not giving these guys a hard time for the free service that they provide. What I generally think is acceptable is CTF binaries and also malware samples. Because let's be real, that would be a fun precedence to set if a malware author actually sues somebody for copyright infringement. Anyway, to get started, we create a new project a shared project, and then we enter the provided credentials. The server address, and then we give it our username and our password, and then there's one repository. I will then select this to first explore this and then later create my own repository. I hit next and import it like this. Now we have access to this here. Dev made sort of a readme out of the directory structure. And let's explore these files. So when you open a file, it will first say that it's not checked out because Gitra actually has a version revision system built in. Here's the version control explained. You can add something to a version control and you can check out and then you can check in if you made changes and you can undo a checkout and then update. And then you also can see the version history. So we hit OK, or oh, yes, and now we also have this file locally. So here they checked in a binary of the damn vulnerable arm router. Let's see what people have done to this already. Okay, it's just the auto analysis. So let's actually reverse something. Check this out. So apparently Gitra keeps track with which version of Gitra these files have been created and in order to upgrade them you need to have an exclusive checkout that means that nobody else has the checkout so you can update the program data which i cannot do so i will now undo this checkout and i will now generate my own repository so let's do a new shared project on this server let's create a project According to the naming scheme, you should use an R character and then element name. Yeah, let's choose that one. Insert it. And now I can add the users that already exist on the server so they can see my repository. I may do that later. And there is our repository. Let me just see what I can add in there. Let's do batch import. Now, I just added the practical malware analysis labs binaries. Practical malware analysis is an awesome book and you should definitely check it out. And now we have our 65 files imported. We have to add these files to version control. So I select all. Okay, and this is how you select all. Okay. 
apply it to all. So now this is finished. All these files should be on the server. I will now quickly put some first analysis into some of these binaries. Let me see what's an interesting one. I think this lab is a good lab to take a look at. Analyze it. So let's quickly triage this. I will stop here and somebody else can do the other string and the rest of the binary. So I will now check in my local copy of this. And hopefully we can find somebody that will actually collaborate with me on this. So I can figure out how this works, whether only one person can work on a file or two can work in parallel, etc. So next I'm going to edit the access list, who can access this. And I will simply say, everyone can access this. If you're a new user, you just ping me on Twitter and I will then give you access to this repository. So you can also work on these files and I will sporadically also work on some of these files to just get a feel for how collaboration with this tool is possible. Also very important, to change your password, click here. And hit OK. Password changed successfully. Just a little privacy warning. There's one information leak in the Gitra client when connecting to the server. It passes your local username. However, you can avoid this by changing the Gitla launch properties and adding this argument.